Welcome everybody, this is your boy Drano Motoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka The Real AG, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Moldy Superman YT and Weeze G in Z Gaming. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the BMW M5 inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. And this video is not only for the BMW, but you can use this method and this tutorial for any add-on vehicle. So we are going to install this mod, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. And download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now I've been getting so many messages from people saying that their game crashes as soon as they start their game. So I will show you guys how to fix that problem. So make sure you download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Second, download Pack File Limit Adjuster and I will leave this mod inside my description below. And thirdly, download Heap Limit Adjuster and I will leave this inside my description below. And lastly, download Game Config, and I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you download Game Config. Once you have completed that process, then we can get started. Now, once you have finished with that process, then we can get started. But unfortunately, since everybody has been having trouble installing the vehicle mods, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this mod. But I'm going to be starting inside a clean GTA V folder. So like always go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as always, as you can see that this mod is completely clean. There's no other mods in here. So since there's no mods in here, uh, we must start from scratch. Open up your open IV. Now this process will take a few seconds. All you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows. Now, once your application is open, all you guys got to do is just go to your tools up here. Go to ASI Manager. Once that is open, go and install your ASI loader. Install openiv.asi. And now select yes and install open camera. Now close your application, minimize your OpenIV. Now we have got a mods folder there. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go to your update folder on your main GTA V folder. Right click and copy that folder. Go inside your mods folder and now right click and paste that folder in there. Now, unfortunately, it's going to take a few, uh, like about one minute. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to wait for this, okay? So I'm going to go straight to my main GTA V folder and now we are going to install our requirements so to install your requirements all you guys got to do is open up your squid hook v extract folder now go inside your bin folder and select the input 8.dll squid hook v.dll drag both files inside your grand theft auto v main folder now this will pop up, all you got to do is just replace. And then now exit out of your extract folder. Open up your script or v.net extract folder. Now all you got to do is select all the files except for the text files and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now this is optional, you can do this if you want to but it's totally up to you. Open up your trainer V, also known as Simple Trainer. And now select trainer V.asi and .ini 
and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now again, this is optional, but you can use this mod if you want to. Open up your Menu Extract folder and select Menu Stuff folder and Menu.asi and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now once, once you guys have finished installing all of the requirements, then what you gotta do now is go back to your mods folder and go back to your update folder, go to time 64, go to DRC packs folder, and now all you gotta do next is select all the folders that's inside your DRC packs folder, right click and delete. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and we still got to install the requirements. Open up your GTA V Heap Adjuster and now inside that folder all you got to do is select your ASI folder, select your ASI file and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, exit out of your extract folder and open up your pack file limit adjuster extract folder and all you gotta do again is select all the files except for the text file and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Exit out of your extract folder and now open up your game config extract folder. Now this one over here, this is what makes your game not crash because everybody's been saying that their game keeps crashing. So go to your GTA V config folder and go right down the bottom and now uh, select five times traffic and five times speeds. Now all you gotta do next is go back to your open IV. Now all you gotta do is go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data and scroll right down the bottom until you see gameconfig.xml. Make sure you go to edit mode, make sure you select yes. And now, if you want to, you can make up a backup file. All you gotta do is select your gameconfig.xml file and drag it to your desktop. Now, once you have done that, select your gameconfig.xml inside your extract folder and drag it inside your open IV. And now that's all you got to do, exit out of your extract folder. And now all you got to do next is minimize your open IV. And now we have finished installing all the requirements. Open up your BMW extract folder. Now inside that folder there will be another folder. All you got to do is select that folder and you'll see a DRC.RPF. Now go inside your mods folder, inside your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Go to your update folder, go to time 64, go to your DRC packs folder, and inside that folder, all you gotta do is select your folder that's inside your extract folder, and now drag it inside your DRC packs folder. And then that's all you gotta do. Exit out of your extract folder. Now go back to the website, okay? Over here, and now down the bottom inside the description, you'll see the DRC packs code right there. Copy this code, and then now all you gotta do next is open up a text file, which I've got right over here, and paste your code there. Now go back to your Open IV, and now over here, inside your Open IV, you'll see DRCList.xml. All you gotta do is hover over it, right click, and edit. Now scroll right down the bottom. Now all you gotta do next is just copy the last DRC list code. Just copy it, okay? And now go back to your text file and paste the code down the bottom. Now we are going to copy this code and now we are going to delete this one over here. And now we are going to paste that, that code over there. Now all you gotta do next is just copy this code and now paste it over here. Press enter once on your keyboard and paste your code right there and save your code and go back inside your DRC list.xml and now double check to see if your code is saved and yes it is. 
Now select edit mode, select GTA V, exit out of your open IV, and then go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, and now all you gotta do next is just close all of your files and folders. And there now, I'll see you guys in the game. And we're back as Trevor, so as you guys can see, my game did not crash, and the, the mod is still inside my folder. But, you can use any trainer to spawn the vehicle, it's totally up to you. But unfortunately, I always use Simple Trainer. Now, if you are using Simple Trainer to spawn your vehicles, all you gotta do is press F3, and then now go down to Vehicle Spawning, then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu and now as you can see the vehicle is right over here in the slot so all you got to do next is go on your keyboard and now press 5 on your keyboard on your numpad and now the vehicle will spawn right in right yeah right there see so that's how you install any add-on vehicle mod and that's how you spawn the vehicle so yeah, it's a pretty good vehicle. You can customize the vehicle by using menu. Uh, I always use menu because it's much more easier to use. All you gotta do is go to vehicle options and go to menu customs. And now basically you can customize your vehicle using menu. There you go. So there goes my BMW M5. It's a really good, um, good vehicle though. So. Yeah, um, you can use this vehicle for role plays or etc. So, yeah, I really do enjoy this mod. And we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So, that is it now and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, just smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace and I'm out.